you know anything about the Holy Temple and what it means? Nope. Never heard of it? Nothing. I, don't know, I never really thought of it, I guess. That's a really loaded question, man. I mean, that's not, not like a simple question. <laughs> אין לי חצי שעה, יומיים לחשוב על זה. מלחמת עולם שלישית, זה הדבר הראשון שקופץ לי לראש. Would it change something, I don't know, to the Jews? Of course. It's a big part of the Jewish religious identity, you know, having the temple, the place of worship. Because it's a redemption of our culture. It's who we are as a people. We're coming back to who we are. Everything, everything. It's just a dream that we have. We have to live the present and dream. If we don't have dreams, we don't have anything, right? It doesn't mean much to me as I'm not a religious person. I can't even answer that question. I can't even imagine it. It would, uh, I think everything would change. I'm not really sure that we even know this really. I mean, it should change our whole level of consciousness of how we live our lives to have God's presence so visible and so clear. <laughs> יהיו פחות טרודים, יהיו יותר נינוחים, יהיו פחות עסוקים במה חושבים עליהם. כאילו שייבנה המקום, כולם יהיו על מקומם. נראה לי אנחנו בהפרה מוחלטת כזו, וכשייבנה המקום אז נחזור למקומנו. שלום בין כל המדינות, אוקיי? אנחנו אומרים שהיהודים יהיו נס לגויים, זה לא מתוך התנסות, אלא כל הגויים יבינו שאלוקים הוא המלך, ויבואו והוא איתנו, אוקיי? זה הרעיון של נס לגויים, זה, זה הגאולה, לא, לאו דווקא בית המקדש. Would it affect uh, the nation or peace or something global? You would hope, um, you know, Hatikva, you're always hoping that, you know, cooperation and working together and building something that'll last will bring peace to both nations. I mean, I would hope so, but I, I don't know if it would. It would probably take some time before uh, we can continue to establish ourselves as, as a nation that can be that or Lago Yim, that light into the nations. A lot happened this year, not just Mayron, a lot of things that just didn't, doesn't make sense. And I think it's a wake-up call for all of us, and um, I think hopefully it's coming soon, because I don't know how else to explain any of it. So. Everyone will be equal, and we're going to live happy in peace. The temple is going to be the greatest building in the world. It's going to be a place that will bring good to, the, to all nations. Read the Bible, it's written there. I mean, you don't have to ask me, come on. Nobody's going to be jealous of each other. Nobody's going to be poor or stuff like that. The whole world, the old world is going to be very wise, very happy, very healthy. Every religion is welcome. So that's why I think that way. So you would come to the Holy Temple to pray with all the nations together? Yes, all together, all religion. It would be nice sometime in the future, maybe in messianic times, when, uh, when everyone can pray together. We're all, we're all praying to the same gods, just uh, different, different words. The words will be one, and the gods only one. All peoples come to the one. As it is, it's my belief. We all have the same God, eventually. We all believe in the same God. All the people in the world will understand that there is one God. רואים בו כמקום של שלום, אין, אין, כל תולדות האנושות אין את זה. אז אתה בא פה עם איזשהו קונספט חדש. אם הקונספט הזה יכול לעבוד, אני הראשון קונה את הכרטיס VIP.